Shaka leads the Zulu in Civilization VI, Rise and Fall. One of military history's greatest commanders, Shaka of the Zulu returns to civilization and brings his MP force with him. The MP are the Zulu's unique unit. These pikemen replacements have an increased flanking bonus, are less expensive than other combat units of the same era, have a low maintenance cost, and earn XP faster. The Zulu's unique ability is Isibongo. Conquering a city with a unit will upgrade it into a core or army. Also, cities with a garrisoned unit gain extra loyalty. The Zulu's unique district is the Ikanda, a replacement for the encampment. This district provides housing, and cores and armies are created much faster. Also, it allows cores and armies to be built outright. Shaka's leader ability is Amabuto. Cores and armies unlock sooner and receive additional base combat strength. There is strength in numbers when playing as Shaka. Build plenty of MP cores and armies, bolster their power by capturing enemy cities, and your domain will grow rapidly. Remember to keep a close eye on your war weariness as your empire spreads. Having enough amenities will be of utmost importance. Will your MP warriors swarm the world? How will you lead the Zulu in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Rise and Fall?